All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. The first story, the word on the street right now that is being reported is that Hadi Chupin just got his visa approved today. Now, I have not seen an official statement from Hadi on this yet, um, but several Middle Eastern Facebook pages have posted reports saying that he got his visa and he will be traveling to the United States. This page you're looking at right here, Kuwait Bodybuilding reposted Hadi's latest post, was, was a clip of him um, from last year's Mr. Olympia, which Hadi posted with no caption, and Kuwait Bodybuilding's caption there is, word on the street is Hadi Chupin got his visa reposted from Hadi Chupin. So, like I said, there are several foreign outlets right now reporting that Hadi did get his visa. I'm still waiting to get the official word from Hadi Chupin because once he says it, um, that's when we know for sure. And if it's true that he did get it, I'm interested to see what kind of shape Hadi's going to be in because you could not get more last minute than this. Because even though he may have gotten his visa approved, my understanding is that right now he is still in the UAE. And we're five days away right now, five days from prejudging for men's open bodybuilding at the Olympia this coming Friday. So if Heidi did get his visa, hopefully he gets to Vegas like tomorrow and gets settled in and prepared um, to take the stage on Friday. But that is the update right now. Multiple reports saying that Heidi did in fact get his visa in a very ominous pose from Hadi, just an Olympia posing video with no caption, um, and a lot of positive, excited comments on that post. So I guess we'll see on Friday whether Hadi is there or not. But I certainly hope that he is. Like I've said many times, he was the people's champion at last year's Olympia. He took third place, and in my opinion, one of the best conditioned bodybuilders on that stage in 2019. And I would love to see him in a call out with Phil, Brandon, Rami. Hopefully Hadi is there on Friday, but I guess only time will tell. And that brings me to my next story. Now, Muscular Development Magazine is reporting that Roly Winkler is potentially out of the 2020 Mr. Olympia. They suggest that he, Ron Harris in this video, suggests that Roly is currently stuck in Turkey um, just based on the location of some of his posts and the fact that his trainer is already over here in the United States without Roly. Um, so I guess there's a possibility that Roly might not compete but I wouldn't put too much uh, weight on that just yet because, like I said, we just talked about Hadi Chupin. He's not over here yet either, so there's still a chance that Roly can get here before Friday. So I wouldn't completely roll out Roly competing, roll out Roly competing just because he's not in the United States yet, because there are still some guys that are not here. Most of the guys that are competing in the Olympia, they're already in Orlando, but there still are several guys who are not here yet, and they're still going to compete, as far as I know. So there are these reports going out that Roly might not be at the Olympia this year, but again, I would not say that for sure. I would not get too disappointed yet. Um, I think a lot can happen between now and Friday, and I'm optimistic that Roly's going to be there, um, but it's being reported, again, muscular development is very credible, um, that potentially Roly will not be competing, but it's not confirmed yet. And that would certainly be disappointing. We just saw that massive physique update from Roly earlier last week. He's looking like he's in really good shape. And in that that clip was recorded by his coach that everybody's talking about, Ahmad Oscar, um, who's currently in the United States, apparently without Roly. So kind of interesting, but this is going to be the week where we have a lot of Olympia news. There's going to be a lot of big stories, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already because I have a feeling over the next five days you're going to see a lot of big things happen Maybe it's physique updates, maybe it's athletes dropping out of the show, maybe it's athletes getting into the States, but this is peak week, this is crunch time, we are five days away from the show beginning with pre-judging on Friday, it's time, the Olympia is here, and it's happening. Now, next up in the news, further fuel to the conspiracy theory that Chris Bumstead has been posting older pictures to throw off the competition, make them think he's not in good shape. Um, we actually went back and looked at an earlier post from Chris Bumstead um, a little bit earlier on in his prep. I think this was from like mid-October. He says, a little under 250 pounds and feeling pretty darn good. Think about what we're getting to. Think about getting to that point in prep where all the pictures posted have to be a week or two old. So he even says in the caption of this post that he is intending to start posting old pictures. And this was, I guess that would have been around two months away from the Olympia, like eight weeks out. And we really started seeing a lot of physique updates from Chris and Breon in the four to six week range. So maybe a lot of those updates from Chris were old, but 
This has been a conspiracy theory that's been floating around for a while now. Um, and this is uh, pretty much even further proof to that theory that Chris might have been posting old pictures to throw people off. But I guess we'll see. A lot of you guys were saying that Chris's girlfriend, Courtney King, was posting some pictures of Chris in his story um, where his face and what you could see of his physique looked a lot leaner than what we've seen um, of him in his pictures. So a lot of your spidey senses were tingling out there um, as far as your classic physique, uh, physique radar going off. But speaking of Chris Bumstead, let's talk about Canadians at the Olympia. Who will be the highest placing Canadian this year? You've got three of them. You've got Antoine Vaillant, Ian Vallier. And, of course, Regan Grimes, Antoine Vaillant sent me these pictures, very recent physique updates that he has not posted all of yet on his uh, social media. So this is, this is how Antoine is looking at about a week, maybe two weeks out from the Olympia. Um, and personally, I think Antoine is going to place the highest of all of the classic or the Canadian men's open bodybuilders competing at the Olympia. Uh, because the thing I like about Antoine is this. He seems, every time that we've seen him recently, and, and to be fair, we haven't seen him compete that frequently, but Antoine seems very consistent with bringing good conditioning. Antoine, he's not the biggest guy. He doesn't have the prettiest or most balanced physique. But from what I've seen of Antoine so far, he's pretty consistent with coming in and not disappointing in terms of conditioning. I think he's a little bit bottom heavy because he's got really big legs. But I think this Olympia is going to be a very conditioning focused one. And my prediction is that Antoine will probably place the highest out of all the Canadians in men's open bodybuilding. You've also got Regan Grimes. And I like Regan. Regan's a really nice guy. I've talked to him on a few occasions. Um, but to be honest, the physique updates that I've seen from Regan so far, um, and this is this is a fair criticism because to be fair, he's competed a lot lately trying to qualify for this year's Mr. Olympia, and he also qualified for next year's 2021. But my honest opinion, and he just posted this posing video, um, I believe this was exactly a week out. At 255 pounds, this was his morning check-in. He posted a posing video. Um, to be honest... I think if you looked back at how Regan was looking before the Europa and how Regan was looking before the Romania show, he looked a lot leaner a week out from those shows and his updates than he's looking at a week out from the Olympia. Um, and to be honest, I feel like Regan might be a little off at this Olympia based on what I'm seeing so far. Like I said, I like Regan. It's not a knock on him, but honestly, based on what I'm seeing, I thought the updates that we saw of him before those two other shows that he did, um, and he did the British Grand Prix, um, he just looked a lot leaner in those updates that I'm seeing right here, and that's just uh, that's got to be my honest criticism. And Regan might tighten up at the last minute before the Olympia. It's possible that he, um, you know, drops a lot of water or whatever and makes it work. But like I said, just what I'm seeing so far, I thought he looked leaner before those other shows that he did than he's looking right now. Maybe he wasn't sure if he was going to do it because he is qualified for next year's Olympia too. So maybe he was thinking he's just going to shut it down and wait for next year. But um, it looks like he is doing the Olympia. This year, and of course, the third Canadian that you have in this lineup, Ian Vayer. Ian Vayer looking very impressive in a lot of the physique updates that he's posted. He won the New York Pro to qualify for the 2020 Mr. Olympia. Um, his most impressive physique update recently was this back shot um, showing off a little bit of striations in his glutes, a little bit of a Christmas tree, some detail in his back. Um, Ian Vayer, I think it's going to go, I don't know where they're going to place, um, but the way that I would have it, is I would have Antoine placing the highest because I just have a feeling Antoine's going to bring some really good conditioning. Um, and then Ian placing the second highest out of Canadians. Um, and then Regan placing the third highest out of the Canadians. But this year is a big Olympia for Canadian bodybuilding. You've got Chris Bumstead in classic physique. You've got Ian, Antoine, and Regan in men's open bodybuilding. Canada representing strong this year. And I'm excited to see how this one plays out. Let me know in the comment section below who your pick is for the highest placing Canadian out of Antoine, Regan, and Ian Vayer. And of course, the final story that I have for you guys today, a Dorian Yates update. It's been a while since we've talked about Dorian Yates on this channel, but Dorian um, recently injured in a bike accident posted this update on his Instagram page saying, on a lovely Sunday morning, I thought it was going to be a peaceful bike ride along the beach path until I, got, until I hit an oil patch. I lost the bike from underneath me, causing me to crash with my shoulder on the floor. The result was a very painful dislocation of my right shoulder. Thanks to the passers-by, special lady called Maria for helping me get to the road where my wife, Gal Yates, drove me to the hospital. Actually, my wife, Gal Yates, was the one typing because I can't use my right hand. I have to keep my shoulder immobilized for three weeks minimum following the lengthy period of rehab and the recovery, which means no training again. 
which is going to be tough. Thrombosis earlier in the year, and now this challenge 2020, what a year. So best wishes and hoping for a speedy recovery towards Dorian Yates. That's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. I hope you did, in fact, enjoy it. Again, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. There's going to be a lot of Olympia news over the next five days, the next seven days to cover. So make sure you tune into this channel. I will keep you guys posted. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.